Ever wonder why you don't have the amount of money that you truly want? Maybe it's like you're spinning your wheels over and over and pushing harder, working longer, and it's just like you're not getting ahead financially. How do you change that? Like, how do you really make that change? Well, I was in your shoes too before, and I wanna share with you exactly what I did first so that you guys can be able to change your financial situation to any level in which you want. My name's Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design, and today's video is one powerful belief to get more money quickly. Look, I know what it's like being 30, almost $40,000 in debt, multiple times, not making a lot of money, and really thinking, like, I need to do something about it. And so I would, I'd try this, I would try that, and I would just find myself just kind of, you know, living this cycle until I started changing my beliefs around money. And I heard someone say a belief around money that I'm gonna share with you today that I believe is extremely powerful, can change any situation around money. But first, you gotta understand that beliefs control us. They guide every decision that we make, right? And so everything that you have in your life is due to your belief system. So if we're gonna start with change and create change so that this external world, we can have more of the things that we want, especially around money, we need to change the internal world, the inner game, right? It's like you can put a new case on your computer, but it's still gonna run like crap if it's, you know, has bad software. So for to change its performance and the results that it puts out, you gotta change the software. I wanna help you with the software today, that one belief that's gonna allow you to make more quickly. And so with that, the number one belief that I truly believe has made a shift in when I went from 40 grand in debt to over 40 grand in the bank and beyond was that money loves speed. Yes, go ahead and write that down, money loves speed. Now, I'm not saying be foolish and just go into anything quickly. What I'm saying is you wanna, be, you wanna have calculated risk, but when you adopt a belief that money loves speed, things start to change. For example, if you would have started putting your money into a portfolio when you were 18, where would you be now in your late 20s, late 30s, late 40s and 50s and beyond? Where would you be? See, money loves speed. So when you get the opportunity to invest, do you make it or do you kind of hold off and say, ah, oh, I'll see and you hoard your money? It's like, there's no energy there. It's like a pond. It's no, there's no, it's stagnant, right? Like the, and then there's mosquitoes. It's like, there's no movement. But when you have a waterfall, right? Like there's a ton of movement, ton of energy. More keeps coming and coming and it's a beautiful scene and, and it brings joy, right? If you think about it like that. So look, you gotta be in the game and trading, right? Like when you put your money in, that money loves that, right? Money loves that idea of being put to work. The other thing in here is, I looked at, also, I had an opportunity to invest in a coach and I could have said no because I just wanted to hoard my money because that's all I really had or I could invest my money, right? Because investing means we're gonna put it out and it's gonna come back to us multiplied. I can't tell you the results that have come from that coaching in my life. I almost threw my wife away before we even started dating. Like that was a pattern I ran. My coach helped me break that pattern so that I can go after my girl and then ultimately start marry her and start a family and travel the world with her, right? That investment in my coaching, money loves that. And honestly, coming together has helped us in our financial situation, build our, our empire even more. So that was by me having the belief, money loves speed. Okay, well, you know, I have this opportunity to invest right now. Do I do it? Yes, I invested right there. Next, I have in here, we talked about investing in your portfolio, right? Again, if you would've invested in March 2020, right? Money loves speed, you're making money, but the economy's dropping, crashing, COVID, everything. But you're just like, hey, there's people are saying there's an opportunity for you to make even more money. The question is, do you invest? Do you put your money where it needs to be? because money loves speed. You gotta make that decision. Yes, I wanna go ahead. And that could be the difference in one day. It could be the difference of, you know, depending on how much you invest, thousands, tens of thousands, or even hundreds of thousands of dollars over the course of that portfolio. Money loves speed. Think about this. What if you would've invested in Bitcoin in 2010 when it first came out? What if you just put $1,000 in Bitcoin at that time? 
right? Now, in hindsight, that would be amazing. You probably would have sold in 2018 when it was like through the roof, or at least we thought it was, right? But what if you invested in 2019 after it dropped significantly, right? You had the opportunity. You saw proof that Bitcoin was doing well and cryptocurrency was starting to take off. And in 2019, when it dropped, you had this opportunity to move quick. And then all of a sudden, it shot up to almost 60,000, right? And who knows? People are saying it's going to go to 100,000 by the end of this year, maybe 150. We'll see. I don't know. But money loves speed. How are you? How do you do when it comes to investing your money, putting it in certain places? So when my wife and I, we're in a stage of life with our two young boys where we need help. We don't have family in our house. We're coaching clients around the world. We're building our business. We need time for each other. And we have no help. And we have an opportunity for a nanny to come in. And so we started thinking, okay, money loves speed. You know, how if we invest in this nanny now, how much time are we going to get back? How are we able to grow our business? How are we able to add value to our audience and our community that in turn will help us generate more revenue, right? So we'll make an impact and an income. And so we had this opportunity and we moved on it. We paid a substantial fee to have a placement agency come in and interview us and interview aid, uh, nannies and whatnot. And all of a sudden we found one and actually she starts here in eight minutes as I record this video, which is super cool. But money loves speed. So we're gonna get back time. We're gonna, our investments are gonna take off and are taking off because money loves speed. Now, let me throw this disclaimer out there. Money isn't everything. Right, We know that money isn't everything, but it sure does make life easier when you have it. And let me say it like this, you're not making money just to make money. You're making money so that you can be a blessing to others, right? I believe God calls us to be a blessing to others. Well, you gotta bless yourself first before you can go out and bless others, right? How many of you have been on a flight before? What do they say in t before you take off and they do their little, you know, spiel? You know, please put your mask on first before you put someone else's on. So you got to make sure your money game's right. And that starts with changing your beliefs. And if you adopt this belief that money loves speed, right? And you, you got to mitigate the risk, right? You know, we don't just go into a nanny and say, all right, here's our money. No, we, we interviewed them. We had them, you know, filtered. We had them background checks, all that stuff. Right? When I go into an investment, I look at why am I going into this? Do I believe in a company in the future? Yes. All right. The, the price, you know, it's been red for three days in a row. I'm going to put my money here because it's going to go back up. I believe in a company over the long haul. It's going to do even better. So I go in all in on it, right? Or I put my money there. So money loves speed. You have the opportunity to invest in a coach, do it. You have an opportunity to invest in a business or portfolio that aligns with you, your values and where you think the company or the company or the opportunity opportunities going for you if it aligns there great does it mean that you know hey if you hire an annie you have more quality time with your partner and you invest there money loves speed if i can drill that into your head today then you're going to start winning but you got to act on it it's not just enough to know the belief you actually have to act on it so when there's a great opportunity that comes up a real estate portfolio um, opportunity hey there's this great deal it's you know 25 percent under you know market value you know but they need money right now and it's like great done right that's why you you kind of put your money away so with that money loves speed i can't say it enough so with that i'm gonna wrap up here you change your belief right you start changing the belief that money loves speed instead of let me hold on to it because it's like that stagnant pond where you just get all these mosquitoes right it's just it smells it's murky well guess what what you want to do is you want to have your money go out in great ways so that it could come back to you. And sometimes it's not just in money, it's in time, it's in happiness or in emotional satisfaction, but you have to change your beliefs around money. And when I'll tell you, when I did that, more money started coming in. I started having more time with my girl, which I mean, I invested in my relationship more. And then we ultimately got married. We, we made a decision to, to build this house that we're in and to start our family. And so we live this life because I worked on my beliefs. You work on this. I can't promise you all that's going to happen to you, but I can promise things will change in a better way and that you're actually probably going to have even more than what I had if you keep applying that, uh, that belief 
in your financial situation. So with that, if you guys found value, please give that thumbs up button. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. We're doing three videos a week. So in areas of personal development, relationships, business finance, we wanna make sure that we're hitting all the areas in what we call life by design, the wheel of mastery. And look, let's be friends on social, right? Like go ahead and add me, Joe Moffitt on Facebook, Twitter, The Joe Moffitt on Instagram, or Master Life by Design on all the platforms. And then lastly, if you're really thinking about changing your money beliefs, you, you may want some support. So go ahead in the description below and fill out that one-on-one -on -one application to talk about signing up with a coach, investing in yourself with a coach so that you can have your breakthroughs in any area of your life that you truly feel like you're struggling. And what I would encourage you guys to do is check out the video, Who's Right About Money, Grant Cardone, Dave Ramsey, because they have two different philosophies, two different belief systems, but which one do you want to adopt? Which one feels right for you? Because there's no one size fits all for everyone. Everyone has different beliefs. I'm just gonna invite you to adopt that money loves speed because the faster you take action, the faster feedback you get and even greater results. So with that, my name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. You guys have a great one. See ya.